Aww. Oh, these guys are so easy. What a bunch of punks. <laughs> Man, I wonder what Hiroshi is doing. He's not having as much fun as me. Oh, hey, it's Hiroshi. It's my dude. Hey, dude, check it out. I have a gun. What's with the ominous music? Hello fellow heroes, I'm Action Smack Chan, the two-in-one hero made up of a virus from the 70s and a guy who likes to play things. <laughs> and I am coming back to you with the Galaxy Express 3.9, or maybe I should call it by its rightful title of Leiji Matsumoto 3.9, the story of Galaxy Express 3.9 for the PS1. And I am back with the Google Translate because I don't think that there is a uh, translation for this in the works. Um, if there is and you know about it, um, let me know. <laughs> but um, I've never seen this game in English, and um, I am hoping to help anybody who wants to see what's going on. Uh, figure out what's going on, man. See, last time I'm, uh, I was hanging out with Hiroshi Umino, I am no longer hang out with Hiroshi Umino because he wanted to go uh, check out the scrap heap to uh, find a catalyzer for the Galaxy Express, but I decided to try to haggle with uh, Mr. Zeronimo again, um, and he is the most hated dude in town. All right, so this is him, Zeronimo. Welcome. Are you still looking for a catalyzer? I am. Yes. And what about the gold coins? Couldn't get my gold back in the sandstorm. Oh yeah, there is like a very strict... A very strict um, sheriff outside the town making sure absolutely nobody goes into the sandstorm. Uh, goodbye, I hope the sandstorm will stop soon. Goodbye. Wow. All right. So, um, I guess I was not supposed to actually talk to him or is he just being a jerk? All right. So, um, <laughs> Hiroshi might have the better idea of actually going out to the scrap heap and trying to find a catalyzer because this guy is not budging. He was not giving me any time of day. Um, but you know what? There is always the tipsy Oji-san who might give me some advice. Uh, so I'm going to go try talking to him. Uh, tipsy Oji-san, old man, where are you? Is he still here? Did he leave? Oh, he's still here, yeah. Hey, get your shopping done. Uh, that's, uh... Well, don't be so impatient. Sometimes take a calm look around. Calmly, or... Hmm... Calmly or violently? Who am I gonna have to beat up? I'm gonna have to beat somebody up and take the pants. Cause that's the only way to get things done around here, am I right? Alright, um... Maybe I should go try to talk to Hiroshi, maybe I could go find him? Can I get to the, the trash heap? Wherever that is? Oh, is that where, uh... Is that what this guy's hiding? Don't hide things from me, man. Shush, go away. Shoo shoo. What's over there? A place that has nothing to do with flesh and blood. Oh, is he a machine man? What is it? I feel bad. Maybe he has a bad feeling about it? <laughs> well, yeah. You should feel... Should get a bad feeling about that place, Tetsuro. There's racism over there. Or humanist... Humanism over there? Um... Alright, uh, maybe I talk to the other... The other dealers? Will that help? I don't know what talking to the other dealers would help me do. Try talking to Kanako. 
You. If it's a catalyzer, it's not here. Huh? Yeah, that's alright. What a strange child. This game looks fantastic, right? And it's made in like 2000 and 2001. So it's pretty... It's pretty uh, close to the end of the PS1's life cycle, I guess. <laughs> but um, I do wish I had better control over this camera, man. Every time, ca the catalyzer is not in stock. Right. Thanks. Don't be disappointed. Take a peek again. Or maybe he means like, <laughs> check again later. Nobody's helping old Tetsuro today. Don't even have. What was this? I noticed it well. This is yeah. This. Uh... Whoa. I get some sort of item. Oh, I got a character card. It doesn't help progress the plot at all, but, um, that's pretty cool. I wonder who it is. Also, I wonder if I'm gonna miss, like, a million of those. Maybe I already have. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, these boxes just don't have collision. It's fine. Don't worry, game devs, I'll pretend not to have seen that. Oh, I didn't know that there was, like, a walk button. <laughs> Walking Tetsuro. Quick shot. 100 prize money coins. That's it. So who do I talk about? Uh, talk to about the shooting contest? Is it the Robo Dude? The gatekeeping Robo Dude? Am I supposed to talk to him? I'll try talking to him. Because there's only so many people I could talk to. And none of them are Hiroshi. None of them are Maytel. I wish I could talk to Maytel. I want to participate too. You? You're not a mechanized person, are you? Yeah, uh, it's not like you can't get out unless you're a mechanized person, right? But if you lose, you die. I'm ready. No, you're not, Tetsuro. I don't think you know how to shoot. Uh, wait, don't be hasty. They're all machines. They're all immortal. Even if they lose, they still laugh. Please, I need money. You're just going to die. Don't. If I can't earn the prize money, where will I go? Please, sir. Okay, so do you have a gun? No. Then get your guns ready first. Oh, thank you. Alright. Now all I have to do is find someone to give this child a gun. Oh! Okay, yeah, he's definitely saying something different. Hey, what happened to your high-spirited spirit today? Looking for a catalyzer in the junk pile. Oh, he was asking about Hiroshi earlier. Oh. And what are you looking for? A gun. A gun? Are you going to enter that silly contest? 
have to buy a catalyzer. Don't waste your life. This is for survival. Is there any way I can get hold of a gun? I don't know. Is it just a matter of me talking to everybody in town until they're all like, yeah, just go get the one from the graveyard. May as well try. Hey, you, what do you want? I'm looking for a gun. I don't handle guns. Go away. Where are you? I can't be right. Forget the money. Anyway, my dead husband's will says no guns. What? I'm looking for a gun. A gun? Are you going to the sharpshooting contest even though you don't have even though you have a real body? Yeah, is that bad? No, if there's a live human being in the contest, the contest will be exciting. I don't care about that. So, what about the guns? Sorry, but we don't handle guns. You know anyone who sells guns? <laughs> it's Zeronimo. He'll do anything to make money. Zeronimo, huh? Man, dang old Zeronimo. Dang old Zeronimo having everything I'll ever need. Except affordable items. Listen, Zeronimo, I'm only trying to get this gun so I can get you money. Um, but whatever. Let's go talk to Zerano. Maybe he'll give me a gun. Maybe he'll be all like, all right, a catalyst is one thing. Now a gun, those are free. You you kid that just needs a gun, man, I got you. Welcome. Are you alone today? Yeah. You looking for a gun? How did you know that? It's a small town. More than that, we have a gun that's perfect for you, light and powerful. How much? I will sell it for 100 gold coins. Oh, this guy sucks. You know I only have 30, right? In that case, I will give you the catalyzer for 30 gold coins. Really? Yes, indeed. Just tell me what you're going to use the catalyzer for. I said it was for a spaceship repair. That's enough. I'm definitely not getting a gun from Zeronimo. His prices are poopy. Will Tipsy Oji-san be able to tell me anything? What's wrong? I'm not feeling good. Can't get a gun. Are you still saying that? 
To continue my journey. Journey? Where are you going? To the planet that gives me a mechanical body for free. You don't like your natural body. I need a strong machine body so I could take revenge on those who killed my mother. That's so. Darn, what should I do? I don't know much about projectiles, but uh, talk to Wayne on the outskirts of town. Wayne? Wayne, that guy. <laughs> Dr. Shooty Pants outside. Come to think of it, when I came here, there were no guns to sell. Hmm. I've washed my hands of it now, but I used to be a master gun maker. If it's just a matter of consultation, they'll come along. Uh, thank you, I'll try it. Uh, what did that mean? <laughs> maybe I can maybe I can talk to him now. Maybe Wayne will give me a gun now. Mr. Wayne, don't shoot. Don't take me lightly. What do you want? I want you to sell me a gun. Get lost. I have no guns to sell to mechanized people. I'm not a mechanical person. I want to enter the contest. There's a contest? Yeah, the prize money for the gun contest. Shut up, get any closer now, blow your head off. Okay, I understand. Alright, well, that didn't work out. I was just about the same as earlier. Alright, let me see what happens if I go to the graveyard. It's a gun, but it's all rusty. I can't shoot that. Can't shoot with that. Get away from that grave. That voice. Is that the guy from earlier? Oh, is he actually blind? <laughs> it has not occurred to me that this guy might even be blind. Not for the eagle? Even though I'm entering the gun contest, I still need a gun. Go away, I have no help for mechanized people. So that's why he's a mechanized man? Shut up, getting close and I'll blow your head off. Yeah, sure. Google was not handling that conversation at all. Oh, 
Ah, how have you been there? Or maybe he was like, Oh, did you go over there? Yes, but he doesn't listen to me because he thinks I'm a mechanized person. Oh, all the old people here have bad eyesight because of the hot sand. Oh, so it's like, <laughs> he's, he's kind of blind. Even if I say I'm not a mechanized person, they won't believe me. Well, visit as many times as you need to. And that way, even the blind old man will know you're a real human being. I got it. I'll do that. Alright, I guess I just have to keep on knocking at that guy's doorstep. Hoping he doesn't shoot me. Ah, it's the sheriff. I wasn't expecting him to bother me. Okay, for now, the sandstorm's on the street. Really? Yeah, it's not perfect yet, but it's safe to go into the desert now. Ah, thank you. Am I going into the desert? I thought I was going to go talk to Wayne. Great, now I could get the now I could get the catalyzer. Huh? Who's there? Windman. Windman? Just guide me to your ship. No. Okay. Looks like I'll have to persuade you. But hey, oh come on, man. Even if I die, I won't talk. Let's see how long he can hold out. How about this? If you don't speak on the count of three, I'll pull the trigger. If you want to shoot, shoot with Sasa. Well, excuse me? What does that mean, Tetsuro? I have no idea what Sasa is. <laughs> In that case, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Oh. It's Wayne. He actually managed to shoot someone. You know, considering how bad his eyesight was, was he really trying to shoot me the entire time? but was not able to actually get a good shot. Well, that was a dangerous place. Did you help me, Pops? Can't just let a young man get killed. Oh, thank you. You aren't really a mechanic mechanized person, are you? Finally understand. Does it hurt? Nothing to worry about. You're strong. But the mechanized people you go against in that contest won't feel pain. I'm prepared for it. This is the only way. Okay, use my son's gun. Are you sure? Oh, it's still well taken care of. But there is one thing. What is it? My son died with pride as a gunslinger in his heart. 
The only thing that would stain that pride is... I promise. I might lose and get killed, but I promise you that. What? I think I missed something in the conversation there. But it made me feel very cool and manly. About to get a gun. I'm just borrowing this. Ah, oh, sweet! <laughs> And now it's actually on my model. Tetsuro is wearing the gun. Can I shoot it? I want to shoot it. I want to shoot the gun. Shoot the gun, Tetsuro. Shoot the gun. Alright, I guess I'm not going to be able to do it right now, right now. I got a gun. I want to participate in the gun contest. Understood. But show me your gun. There's no guarantee you'll live. Do you really want to participate? Oh, wait. Um, before I go, I should probably actually like save real quick just in case things go south. <laughs> I have to save profusely. Yeah, that is a look, Tetsuro. King. Hmm? Is that a gun belt? Yeah, Mr. Wayne. That's right. Ugh, do not die. That's what I mean. Alright, I'll make a special Mars soda for you. Yeah, see you. Alright, now that I have saved, I can definitely go into this contest and maybe die. <laughs> Alright. Know the rules of the gun contest? No, I don't. The rules are simple. The referee tosses a coin, and the moment it falls, the game begins. R2 button, uh, to ready your gun. If you let go of the R2 button, the trigger will not be pulled, so be careful. Also, if you press the R2 button before the coin falls, you will fly? Well, I guess I'll fly. When you have your gun ready, press the R1 uh, and pull the trigger. The one who defeats the opponent faster than the guard wins. Alright, it actually sounds kind of hard. I hope I don't have to actually be able to read something while doing this. Because <laughs> I will not win. I will actually just lose. Oh. Did I get him? I win! <laughs> that guy had no reflexes. Okay. <laughs> uh... That one was dangerous. I was like about to really get into the song because it's pretty cool. Oh, these guys are so easy. What a bunch of punks. There you go. I pet my butt. Pet my butt in victory. <laughs> Man, I wonder what Hiroshi is doing. He's not having as much fun as me. I am murdering dudes. So easy! Man, <laughs> these me mechanized people have never played the Samurai Kirby. Cause that will, that will set up your reflexes. <laughs> it also helps that I don't have to aim. 
because my aiming, my aiming skills are dookie. Oh, hey, it's Hiroshi. It's my dude. Hey, dude, check it out. I have a gun. What's with the ominous music? I'll be your next opponent. Hiroshi, what the heck, man? Why, why am I going to have to shoot Hiroshi? Dude, do you even have a gun? Are you in this too? A pile of junk was just a pile of junk. Well then... Uh, there wasn't even a single catalyzer that could be used. I see, but you'll get money from this. It's no good. Why? I think people think it's a match fixing trick, but they're both dirty, uh, let alone the prize money. Well then, I have no choice but to fight. Are you serious? Yeah. The survivor will deliver the catalyzer to 3-9, and that's fine. Idiot. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting to take down my bro. <laughs> uh, but I will also bank on the fact, the idea that his, his reflexes might also be stinky. Whoa, he was actually about to shoot me, dude. Why didn't he shoot? He he wasn't going to shoot? I you definitely saw him raise his gun at me. Seems like it jammed. Oh, bull crap. You... I don't shoot my friends. Good thing I didn't, like, shoot him in, like, a terrible spot. Dude's up and walking. <laughs> nice shot, Tat Tetsuro. Unless it wasn't on purpose. Then, bad shot, but it's for the better. Welcome. Catalyzer. Okay. Look, 100 gold coins. Even so, even if it's for money, it's really heartless to shoot a friend. Oh, this is... <laughs> it couldn't be helped. I have to emulate that ruthlessness. Hurry up and get the catalyzer. Right, right. Alrighty, finally had the catalyzer. I'm gonna save again. Welcome. I came to say goodbye. I see, you're a master. Pops. So why don't you save the game? Huh. 
All right, so I have one catalyzer, one shot friend, and 30 gold coins. <laughs> um, but looking at the clock, what I don't have is time. I think that this episode will have to be capped right here, but don't worry, next week we will have another episode of Google Translating Galaxy Express 39, so if you have not already, do make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with the Google Translation journey through the Sea of Stars. <laughs> also, if you had fun going on this journey with me, go ahead and hit that like button and share it with a friend so that they too can enjoy the Sea of Stars with us. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you in the next Smack Chan Packed Adventure!